you know, we think of this word gene, and it's suffused our culture, and it seems to be sort of an abstract concept that lies outside ourselves in science. You know, people are talking about it in laboratories. But family, it, genes have to do with family. It has to do with us. It has to do with how you and I are made. Our, you know, who in this room doesn't have a relative mm. who's affected by some illness, which you can ultimately track back to some interaction between genes and, and environment. So all of a sudden, when I look back at that, at that little thing, it was more than probably six pages or seven pages, I said to myself, you know, this book is really, this not this book, it was seven pages then, this is really about families. It's about ourselves as living organisms that emanate out of these things called genes. And that's sort of the conception of the book. You, you wrote this, and before I ask you about you know, some of the history here and some of the amazing figures you write about, you write this with a sense, I mean, I get a sense of real urgency from you that mm -hmm. you felt it was, it was important to get this down now because there's a lot going on in science, and you and I talked about this earlier today, you had a sense that it's really important for people to begin to understand themselves, not to just leave this up to the experts. Uh -huh. um, well, let me just give you a sense of what's going on in science, and this may help us have this conversation um, as you move forward. We're trying, we're learning to read and write the human genome. And I'm saying this very flatly because I, uh, let me explain what, what reading and writing the human genome means. Reading, by reading I, I, I mean that, you know, obviously all of you know that in around 2001, 2002, we obtained the sequence of the human genome. Um, and by that I mean, well, let's first define what the genome is. A genome is the entire repository of genetic information that is in uh, your cells. Uh, that's in an embryo, that's in human embryos, and it's written in just four, uh, it's a four alphabet code, A, C, G, and T. So the, your genome might read A, C, G, T, C, 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 I'm making it up, G, 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 I'm not, I haven't memorized it. Um, <laughs> T, 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 C, 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 and so forth. But here's what's interesting about it. It, it. This goes on in humans for three billion letters. Um, and um, if you imagine it as a, um, written as an encyclopedia, this encyclopedia would be f 66 full sets of the Encyclopedia Britannica. So it would line up all the edges of this room. And if you picked up 66 full, one of these 66 full sets of the Encyclopedia Britannica, it would read A, C, T, G, C, 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 T, C, C. It would be inscrutable to you and me. And yet, here's what's amazing about it, yet out of that seemingly inscrutable four-letter code is built you and me and everyone else in that room. It's an astonishing fact uh, that that code becomes you, becomes me. Small variations in that code are responsible in some part the difference between you and me. So, Going back now to understand what, we, what the technologies allow us to do, number one is that we're beginning to read that code and beginning to, and I should emphasize very clearly that we're beginning to be able to predict what might be what, or what might happen in your future for some parts of that genome. Just to give you one example, if you have the BRCA1 gene mutation, um, it's not 100% chance that you're going to have breast cancer, but your risk of breast cancer may be 10 times higher than the, and, and, than the women who don't have that particular mutation. Mm -hmm. If you have the cystic fibrosis gene mutation in both your, both your, uh, both parental and, and from, from both your father and mother, the chances are nearly 100% that you'll have that disease in your future. I could tell you that when you were an embryo. If you had the Tay-Sachs disease mutation, I could tell you from your, embry from your embryonic cell, I could tell you chances that you will have that disease is 100%, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's reading the genome, and now we're getting to more complicated things. I could tell you more, potentially more complicated things about illness. Um, and people have started to explore, far from there yet, but people have started to explore not just illness, but I could tell you complicated things about potentially our identity. Um, that's already entering territory that we right. should have some moral concerns about. 